welcome to this series of Infectious Diseases Talk. I am Ed Ong. I am a consultant physician in general internal medicine with an interest in infectious diseases. What I would like to do in the next few minutes is to show you what does it mean by infection and prevention control. In the context that is actually to a lot of you, particularly those in the general public, it's a bit of a mystery what this is all about. So what is it? Why is it important? How do we do it in the context? We are unfortunately a little bit outnumbered. In the context that there are 10 trillion cells in our human body, but we are outnumbered by 100 trillion bacteria. So really, if you think about it, it's 10 to 1 that we are actually outnumbered. What is infection control? Your first thing, let's have a bit of a definition here. The definition is that it's a discipline that applies epidemiologically and scientific principles and statistical principles as well and analysis to the prevention and reduction in the rates of community and nasochromial infection. So what does infection prevention control aims to do? It aims to ensure the protection of those who might be vulnerable to inquiring an infection, both again in the general community and while receiving care in the hospital setting or while having care being delivered to them. If you think about it, you really want to protect those people that come to the hospital. They are already ill, okay, in the context. And the worst thing that you could actually do to those individuals is subject them to subsequent infection. This is what infection control and prevention is all about. So, this is a very famous individual, okay, Benjamin Franklin, okay, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of care. So we want to prevent as much as we can instead of letting things happen, okay, in the context. And how do we prevent infection? That's the key principle. We do it through what we regard as breaking the chain of infection. Breaking the chain of infection, what does this mean? We have got this infectious agent. The agent that is like a bacteria, a virus that individuals can get acquire. And there is obviously usually a reservoir of these pathogens that's floating around. This reservoir has got this portal of exit. Where does it go out to? Okay, in the context, where does it reside? And how does it then, when it goes out of that portal and entry, transmit to us as human hosts? And the portal of entry, once it gets transmitted, how does it enter? Okay, in the context that there is obviously the portal of entry and individual, you and I could be healthy, but you may have got some underlying medical condition that makes you susceptible to such acquisition of such infection. And that's what we call the chain of infection. So broadly speaking, to break it down into even simpler, you're talking about you being a susceptible host and the source of infection agent and your mode of transmission, okay, in that context. So why do we try to, in terms of medicating risk of transmission, particularly to contain the source? You identify where the source, what the bug is, then you actually think, do we need to quarantine that particular individual where the source of the infection may have come from? And obviously, we do actually treat the individuals who have been unfortunately infected so that once we treat them, their source of risk and source of infection becomes minimized. So that's what we call medication. And obviously, isolating, cohorting infected individuals it form parts of the key principle and obviously it's very important. Individuals do have waste products that they actually subsequently secrete. Okay, either it could well be even the clothing or in terms of the bodily fluids, then that has to be appropriate disposed in that context. And don't forget, environmental cleaning. That's a form, a big part of infection control because obviously we have got bodily fluids respiratory droplets in that context that can get deposited in all sorts of environments surroundings. We hope that you've found this short overview informative. 
Look out for episode 2, where Dr. Edmund Om delves deeper into the fundamental principles of control transmission and more. Stay tuned.